Yo, what is up guys, Blade here, finally back with a new video, and I know I've not uploaded in the past two months, and that is primarily due to school and exams and a few other things here and there, although I really haven't been inactive with you guys in terms of replying to comments, messages, tweets, emails, updating the pre-made servers and whatnot, and uh, oh man, does it feel uh, great to be actually recording this video right now. So much things have happened in the past two months, we also just hit 15,000 subscribers and 2.4 million total video views on this channel, which which is great and I can't thank you guys enough and since school is officially over I now have the whole summer to pretty much pump out new content and speaking of new content I have about 10 videos already planned to record three of which are already done and ready to be uploaded including this one so it's going to be an awesome summer for you guys so if you're a new viewer be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with my new videos my thumbnail tutorial video mini game and top 5 series new modding and server plugin tutorials are just a few of the videos to come Alright, anyways, let's get to the topic of this video. So a while back, I posted a video that pretty much changed my channel and blew it up in a way. That video is the mod installation tutorial video, which is still today my most uh, viewed video, almost nearing 1 million views on itself. Also, a lot of my subscribers uh, came from that video, which drastically changed what I uploaded thereafter on. So this video is the successor to that video. We're going to learn how to install mods without using Forge. This video has been requested a fair amount of times on the comments section of my original mod video, especially uh, from the people that were having problems with Forge. Now I'll be also making a new tutorial, which will be installing mods with Forge, but an updated version of it since the website and everything kind of changed since that video, but that tutorial is to come later but a little disclaimer for this video is that there isn't a lot of mods that you can uh, install without forge so that being said let's get to the tutorial all right so as of now mods are only available for up to minecraft version 1.8 now this video is future proof so if there happens to be a mod later updated for the current version of minecraft whenever you're watching this and simply follow the same process but whenever i mention 1.8 just change it to whatever version is compliant at that time also, installing mods without Forge is a bit harder than using Forge, by the way. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, go to your internet browser, and you want to make sure that you have uh, downloaded and installed WinRAR, which is like an archiving program, and uh, you will need WinRAR. So, uh, most of you already might already have this program, but if you don't, I left a link down below in the description uh, to download it. Just know what version of Windows you have, 64-bit or 32-bit, and just go ahead and install it. Alright, so after you got WinRAR installed, you want to go to this website. I will leave a link to this down below in the description. It should be a bit.ly link, so yeah. Alright, so once you're here, these are all the mods that are available for 1.8. Um, this website will show you mods that uh, require Forge and mods that don't require Forge, which is very helpful. So uh, once you come to this website, you want to go to Mode, then you want to go to Advanced Search. Once you do that, you want to go to tags and you type in forge compatible all right so once you type that in it will show you all the mods with the blue forge compatible tag this means that um, this mod can also run on forge and it can run without it and uh, you can also download the ones that says not forge compatible as well since you don't need uh, forge for that but pretty much any mods that you see with the blue and the red tags uh, of the forge and stuff like that you can download and use for this tutorial now uh, as you can see there isn't a lot of mods as you can see well there's a handful but um, overall there's 234 mods for 1.8 but only few of them are either for uh, only few of them are don't re really require forge to work so that is that now you can um, click on list over here and go down pretty much go down the version so like if you go on 1.7.10 um, say you want to run some mods on 1.7.10 that's not on 1.8 you can just go to the list and choose whatever version right and just do the same thing and just repeat the process forge compatible and then as you can see there's a little bit more mods available for 1.7.10 that does not require forge but uh for this tutorial i'm just going to be using 1.8 and let's go ahead and do that again forge compatible all right i don't know why i'm capitalizing my o but um yeah so from here i want to let's today let's uh for this tutorial let's get too many items 
and there we go too many items as you can see it's uh, has a blue tag that means this this uh, mod can work with forge and it also has another version where you don't have to use forge so uh, once you found your mod from the list or you can like search it you know whatever um, we're just gonna go ahead and click on it and this should take you to a minecraft forum post with the mods and everything and it actually has a dedicated installation guide if you want to follow that but that's what I'm showing you today anyway so as you can see um, once you're here you can see that uh, the Minecraft 1.8 forge mod is available and there's two versions right now so there's one for forge obviously and there's one for the jar mod which is the non forge version so um, there's also 1.7.10 non forge and 1.7.99 non forge so that is good all right so we want the non forge version which will just be the jar mod so we're going to click on download tmi for jar mod this should in some cases take you to an adfly site which is just like a site they use to earn a little bit of money from their mods and stuff like that you, once you like come over here just click on skip ad um and yeah so once you've done that just it'll sh it should be a zip file so that's why we kind of needed the uh, WinRAR in the first place so we're just gonna save this for now on our desktop here and hit save all right now that we have gotten downloaded let's go to our desktop here and there we have the mod we're not gonna mess with this just yet uh, what we're gonna do is open up our minecraft client so let me do that all right once it starts up you want to go to edit profile right there then once that comes up you want to click on open game directory this will pretty much take you to the dot minecraft folder um, this is pretty much a faster way than, you know, going through the percent app data thing. Alright, so once you're here, you want to go to versions folder. And I have a bunch of random Forge and Optifine stuff, but uh, your yours will differ. But anyways, uh, once you come here, we're going to look for 1.8 or whatever version of the mod that you downloaded. But again, I used 1.8, so I'm going to be using this version right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the version that you're uh, trying to add a mod to and we're gonna click on copy. Then we're gonna right click again anywhere else besides the folder and we're gonna hit paste and this will make a copy of the 1.8 version. We're gonna then click on the copy and rename it to um, 1.8 underscore or whatever version underscore TMI. Now you can name this whatever you want but uh, I'm naming it TMI to clarify that this is the version that has the mod in it. And you don't have to name it TMI, of course, if you have another mod, just name it whatever mod you got. Now that we have made the file, we can go into the folder and you'll have two files. So you'll have a .jar file, which is executable jar file here, and uh, you'll have a .json file. So on the .jar file, well actually on the JSON file, you want to make sure you do this. You want to right click and you want to go on open with and make sure you choose notepad as your default to um, open it with because that will help a lot. And um, for the jar file, you want to make sure you want to go to open with and do WinRAR archiver. Now, before we mess with any of this, you want to go back and make sure that you've exited out of your Minecraft. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. We exited out. Of, uh, we have uh, exited out of a Minecraft. What you want to do is you want to right click on the jar file here and you want to rename that with the underscore TMI. Pretty much what we renamed the folder. Again, it doesn't have to be TMI. It can be whatever mod you got. And we're going to do the same with the .json JSON file here and we're gonna do the same and there we go alright so now what you want to do is you want to right click on the JSON file and you want to again open with notepad and this should open it with notepad and we'll just have a bunch of random stuff don't mess with anything um, over here what we want to do is just change this part right here so where it has the quotes and 1.8 you want to do the same thing again so underscore whatever mod you got and there we go hit file then save okay so now uh, we're gonna now open up the dot jar file with our winrar here so open with winrar and I believe uh, the opening thing is a little bit different on Windows 8 but should be this should be pretty similar anyways so um, now you have the mod op I mean now you have the version jar opened up now we're gonna go to where we saved our too many items or whatever mod you got it should be a WinRAR file, so you just double click on the WinRAR file. And these are all the mod class files. Now we're gonna have two windows open side by side. And uh, once you do have it like that, um, you wanna click on the first 
uh, file it should be like something like this it's a class file just click on the first file don't click on the folder right here but the uh, first file and you want to hold shift on your keyboard go all the way down while still holding shift still hold shift and click on the last um, the last file once you've done that it just selects all the file besides that one so uh, once you've done that just uh, drag it drag click on um, the highlighted files drag it over to the WinRAR files, um, our TMI jar file, whatever. So once you've done that, hit OK, and there we go. They should all be in the uh, jar file right now. All right, so once you have done that, you can exit out of the mod uh, file, the mod WinRAR file, and once you have done that, you can, um, now we're just on the jar file. So over here, what you want to do is delete the meta inf file. This is like a meta tagging information thing that pretty much disables you from um, activating like mods and stuff. So you're just gonna hover over, like select it, then hit delete on your keyboard. It says, do you wanna delete it? Yes, and it should delete it just like that. All right, now we can exit up all the folders and files and stuff right here. And now we can go to and pretty much launch our Minecraft again. All right, once you've gotten up, you wanna, uh, where it says new profile, you wanna click on that and it should pop up with the profile editor. Here you wanna rename the profile name to um, whatever, we, again, we named it, named all of our files and stuff. So in this case, uh, the version and the mod, you can name this whatever you want. You can put it 1.8 space too many items, 1.8 space shaders mod, whatever mod you got, whatever version. All right, so once you have done that, you wanna go to where it says use latest version or use version. And you want to look for you want to look for the 1.8 um, what is it 1.8 TMI 1.8 underscore TMI that's the file that we made and stuff so uh, it should be release 1.8 whatever or release whatever version and whatever mod you named it and stuff like that so uh, once you have done that just go ahead and hit save profile and then um, where it says profile look for the 1.8 TMI and uh, let's go ahead and hit play. All right, now we are in the game menu. Let's go to single player here. Go to one of our worlds. Now we should hit our inventory key here and there we go. We have the mod installed without Forge and that is pretty much how you do it guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If it helped you, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. There will also be a link to my other, um, other mod video, which shows you how to do the same exact thing I just did right now, but with Forge. There will also be a link to uh, a mod playlist where you can check out all the mod videos that I did, all the mod tutorials, individual tutorials, and stuff like that. And that is about it, guys. Um, so, peace. <laughs>